in today's world, uncertainty seems to be the only certainty, uh, especially these days, right? Uh, it is July 2024, so I want to, it's, it's safe to say that these days. Uh, natural disasters in today's world, uncertainty seems to be the only certainty. And I think it's safe to say that these days. Uh, it is July 2024. It is something that is unprecedented that we're all experiencing here on this planet. Natural disasters, uh, economic instability, global pandemics, yes, uh, we're still talking about global pandemics, uh, political tensions, and just, you know, unrest, global unrest and global hostilities. These events reminds us so much how crucial it is to be prepared. but. What does it mean to be truly prepared? I think that's a question that all of us have to ask ourselves. So let me, so let me answer that. So being prepared uh, is not just about stockpiling your supplies, right? Your emergency supplies. It is about having that knowledge. It's about having the skills and mindset to navigate any situations, right, good or bad. Any situations with confidence and also your resilience is about ensuring the safety and also the well-being, the well-being of our loved ones, no matter what challenges that arise. So over three decades, I have educated and dedicated myself to. <coughs> so for over three, <coughs> for over three decades, <coughs> I have dedicated. And also throughout those years, throughout those decades, educated myself, you know, educated and trained myself for any type of disaster preparedness or disaster readiness. <coughs> yes, I'm coughing right now, so sorry. <coughs> so throughout my own experiences, you know, hands-on experiences, facing health challenges or any personal losses, I mean, we're all experienced throughout our lives, this kind of things, right? But we must learn through these things. And I, you know, what I have learned through this is that not, that preparedness, it's not just a precaution. Preparedness is not just, you know, something that you have to be ready for, right? It's a way of life. And it is to me, um, it is something that you have to be ready at any given time. And it is 365 days out of the year activity. You can never be over prepared. Now I, I tell this over and over again, um, whether it is in my community, you know, events that I'm advocating. You know, I've been advocating this through my idea, grassroots nonprofit, um, educating, you know, collaborating with other <coughs> nonprofit with the same missions and vision. You can never be overprepared. Many of these are just, like I always say, cheap insurance in life. And majority has always been really promoting resilience, promoting uh, situational awareness, as you're, you all, most of you already hear about this, SA 365, Situational Awareness 365. This means being aware of your surroundings within your elements and anticipating potential risks every single day. Uh, not being paranoid, but just being mindful about these things, right? And then how to take care of yourself, basically, how to avoid if necessary. And that is the best, best line of defense, situational awareness, using your mindset. It's about being proactive, and it's about having the right mindset to respond effectively in any given situation, right? I'm not talking about paranoid right now. So I'm excited because I'm in the middle of doing this, finalizing some things, uh, a couple things actually. I'm excited to share with you a comprehensive guide that I'm finalizing this uh, to emergency preparedness. Yes, another stack. <laughs> this guide is designed to go beyond uh, the basics and help you master the art of sustainable sur survival. Because I'm staying away from this little, really trending word called prepper. You know, I'm not one for for one. I'm not one. <laughs> I'm trying to stay away from all of the status quo um, or all of these trend fancy words, right? I am. I have my own word about it. It's called sustainability. Sustainability survival. 
is it sustainable survivalist? Yeah, sustainable survivalist. Um, sustainable survival, basically. Whether you're new to preparedness, uh, you can always start day one, basically, or looking to refine your strategies to preparedness, right? This guide has something for everyone. The guide is your roadmap to a secure and confident future. I know, it sounds like a PSA right now. It's about building a lifestyle of preparedness, one step at a time basically all right so join me on this journey uh, we all need to be you know to be in this in this journey uh, one way or another right? you gotta have to stay prepared right so let's make sure that we're ready for whatever whatever comes our way stay tuned for any exclusive tips because I'm going to share you some and printable checklists that will take your preparedness to the next level so together we can build a future, sustainable future, where uncertainty is to meet with readiness and peace of mind. That's where we all want to be, right? Watch, learn, and prepare. And of course, your future self will always thank you for this. All right, this, that's it for me today. Dare to live, love, lead fearlessly. Again, this is one of those, one of those impromptu video that I put together. <laughs> you, you know me by now. All right, this is Nikki Dare, Dare to Live, Love, Lead Fearlessly, guys. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully that you stick around here and give it a shout out and share this video to anyone, everyone that you know in your network. Okay, talk soon.